Okay, my wow. heart is just like for that. Yeah, yeah thank goodness. Yes. That young boy knew what to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely so. Little heroes everywhere. Okay, mm -hmm. we've got clear skies out there, guys, and I know that there's plenty of sunshine, but if you step outside, you're going, hold on, this is not warm. It is chilly. Utah Lake camera there showing you the Linden Marina, the sun going down, but you see those clear skies, and clear skies will give way to really frigid temperatures for the overnight. We're below average for highs today. We're going to look at the drought update, your weekends in view, and hopefully, yes, we get a storm soon. We really need one. This is our third week of pretty dry conditions really throughout the state. Temperatures right now, teens in Logan, 34 in Salt Lake and Provo. You see some 40s in the central portion of the state, but we have this northerly wind component. And of course, the wind chill values, they are cold. The real feel of the temperatures right now in Cache Valley, 10 degrees, 26 in Salt Lake. So if you're stepping out in Moab, it feels like it's 29. And mid 20s in Cedar City, 49 is the real feel in St. George. But we know that northerly wind makes a big difference. That wind advisory for lower Washington County holding on until 6 o'clock. Gusty conditions. Right there near Black Ridge, especially. Satellite radar shows pretty dry conditions with that high pressure setting up throughout the west. Clear skies, lots of sunshine. Dry. It's something we've become very accustomed to. And as we look at that drought update, we haven't seen it move in weeks. Yeah, the western side of the state in four corners. Part of that 31% of Utah in extreme drought. We'd like to get some storms in here to really contribute to not just our snowpack, but just moisture. Pretty picture here. This is a live view from Cherry Peak where you can actually see the valley because we do have good air quality out there in many spots. Moderate in Cache Valley, but clean air throughout the rest of northern Utah. That haze, though, wants to build. And then as we head into tomorrow, it becomes more expanded with the chance of moderate air along the Wasatch Front and in Tooele and Box Elder counties. I know we're in the thick of inversion season. Cleaner air on the eastern side of the state. So that's nice in Uinta and Duchesne counties. Tonight it gets cold. Are you ready for it? Another cold start to our day tomorrow. So we're going to start Friday with very frigid temperatures. The winds are keeping the haze at bay for many locations, but they die down into tomorrow and the haze starts to build back with mostly sunny skies. Temperatures will inch up as we head into Saturday. The inversion has a stronghold, and gosh, we are going to see air quality decline as a result. Okay, when I said cold, I meant it. 18 degrees tonight in Salt Lake. Burr, yeah, tomorrow morning, bundle up if you're heading out. 30s, hitting 40 in Provo. We get a few 40s over in Moab and Bluff for tomorrow. 43 in Cedar City and 50s in St. George. Here's a look at the next seven in Washington County. Breezy conditions for tomorrow, but winds relax a little bit. We lose that warning. Some cloud cover by Wednesday and Thursday, and the winds pick back up in the south. It's associated with hopefully some wet weather. That's what we're trying to get in here. Positive thinking Monday into Tuesday. Slight chance of some flurries on Thursday, too. We just need some moisture. Haze really takes control for the next couple of days. Glenn, Emily, over to you. Rooting for the moisture. Thank you so much, Alana.